okay so let's take a look at how you can install IBM DB2 database so go to official IBM.com website check for IBM DB2 database and in resources you will find downloads link once you download for Windows you will get a file that looks something like this make sure to double click on it and you have to extract it somewhere so let's browse for it and let's say for change we use desktop and let's add some directory here right so let's add that path and run unzip next thing we have to do is make sure that you have nothing within system path related to IBM DB2 so that there should not be any name conflict next one more thing to think about is uh, always run such setups with administrative level account so that it can install the necessary files within C drive Okay, once you find the zip is completely finished with this task, you can close this. Now open this temporary directory. Now here you can see it, it says server underscore DC. Now here you have your setup.exe. Now right click on it, run as administrator. Click yes if the dialog box for warning appears. Now here you see it says welcome to db2 version 11.5.6 next thing would be you have to click on release information okay read anything necessary then click on pre-installation okay then here you can check whether your system meets the requirement then you can check if you are upgrading anything from previous or this is fresh install so next thing is install the product okay here we have to check what we wish to install there is a server client version add in for video studio and then db2 connect server okay so here you can see db2 community edition this is what we wish to install right so simply click on install new so it will start with db2 server right and here you see db2 server edition for linux unix and windows let it load the necessary installer steps click next click accept the terms click next then you have option to choose the installation type go with the typical click next then you have option to choose from three install db2 server edition for this computer save my installation settings in response or install db2 server edition on this computer and save response file in this particular location right you can do that then you have your path for this particular db2 
so you can change this if you want click next then you have your user information so domain if it's a particular domain for your office you can choose that if there is none then basically it is local account so username db2 admin then type something simple for password so that you can remember right then you can use use same account for remaining db2 service click next right then you have db2 instance click next can ignore this for notification right then you have enable operating system security for db2 objects keep the default then you can go through settings okay here you say typical setting then default db2 copy yes yes then connect support right and path space taken right start instance on report it says yes you can disable that later right and if you want you can go back and make changes if required so let's say if I go back here and wish to make the change I can do that right so if I want to go back here a couple of steps right I can do that right let's wait for the final step now let's click on this finish button make sure that you're running this as an administrator otherwise the setup won't proceed because the default drive that we have selected is C drive okay the next thing that you will see is setup is completed and you have to click next okay here also you can see the required steps okay as you can see port number is 25,000 okay just in case if you wish to interact using code okay it will also show you the folder and to check the db2 val can be used okay next thing is we can validate our setup okay by going to menu and here let's see ibm db2 here you can see the setup is installed now what we can do is we'll see if it requires any add-ons so I don't have Visual Studio right now so I'm not going to install this component so click finish now let's go back to menu okay it will also open few dialog boxes here here you can see it asks you to create sample database and it will also ask you to download the data studio so we will ignore this for now so let's go and check db2 command line okay so if we click on this command window in order to check the version install you can go to menu then ibm db2 then command window and you can type in db2 LICM which is license manager dash L and you will find the version installed here you can see community edition which does not require license right then license type community version 11.5 maximum memory 6 
16, number of codes 4. Okay, so get the idea how to install DB2 on Windows.